So this is the second part of how to of uh, modeling screw threads for th uh, 3D printing and manufacture. So I'm going to model this nut now. So I'll go ahead and turn that off and get straight into this. And as I said in the last video, we needed one more thread in, in this case. So I've added a line here, which is um, 1.125 long it's going to give me an extra thread so I'm going to get straight in and create a helix along that curve and I'm going to go ahead and put it on this layer so we're not confused about what where it goes and as I said before this is the root of that um, thread there so I'm actually I want that layer Let's use that layer. There we go. So and I'm going to turn that off now so as not to confuse the issue. Uh, and then what I'm going to go, I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and split that curve like I did in the last one. Point. And I don't want to use the end. I want to use the quadrant. Right in there, yeah. And I'll go ahead and put that on this layer. For reference, and same as before, I'll go ahead and extend that. So we'll go ahead and move this curve out. Actually, I'm going to just undo that and I'm going to type in a distance. Uh, you can see we've got a nice transition there. It's not like the, uh, the screw where we were pulling it all the way in round here on this particular one. We just got to run it out there. So I think that's good enough. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, I like that. So let's turn those off. And I oriented those curves on the last video, so we're going to go ahead and use uh, this one. So I'm going to sweep a rail. Actually, let's just delete this because we don't need it. Oh, well, I guess we should just double check that. I'm going to go ahead and edit that. Let's turn the points back on. So this one right here, I can go ahead and pull that and make it a little closer. And then we'll just take a little look there. You can see that's pretty darn close all the way along there. So I'll go ahead and delete it now and turn the points off. And I'm not going to change the thread shape on the back and I'll not explain that now but you'll see in a few minutes why. Um, let's go ahead and sweep this rail here. Sweep one rail, this and this, enter road light right, okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, and I'll join those together. And then cap it. And then I'm going to use this curve here, which is going to represent what the core would look like of the um, knot. For anybody that doesn't uh, know what a core is, it's going to represent the uh, the um, inside edge of the thread. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extrude that. Turn those on because I want to use that curve there. Um, let's do that and then to the end of that. 
and then what I'm then going to do is I'm going to boole boolean difference this thread from there. So difference. And we got a nice blend out there. And then on this side, we've got a sharp edge. Now, sometimes, um, you know, you can you can chamfer that, but even if you chamfer it, you're still going to get a knife edge situation. Um, so I like to handle it a little differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, extract an ISA curve. And I want it to go a little bit below there, somewhere. Let's just see. About there is good. Okay, and then I want to split that. And then I'll lock that layer there, and let's just go ahead and split that. need that so I'll delete that so I'm going to use this let's just turn the points on okay I'm going to pull those out Go ahead and edit these a little bit. It's not going to be perfect. We're only creating a surface for uh, trimming some material off, but let's make it kind of half decent. There we go. And then I'm, what I'm going to do then, I'm, I'm just going to rebuild that. So, um, yeah, there's 12 points. I think 8 is good. Let's say OK. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's good enough for what we're looking for. So, I'll turn those points off. Draw a curve. Let's draw a line and Just take that out a little bit, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna record history on this one and sweep one rail. Okay, take a look. That doesn't look bad there. And that's running out. It would, yeah. I think that's probably okay, but I think I'm gonna. Let's turn the points back on here. Let's just edit this a little bit and make that see how that looks from that view there. Bit. How about that one? 
let's just move that one in a little bit too. Brought that down just a little bit. Let's just take a look what that looks like from this. That could probably go in just a touch more. Just undo that. Look at this. Kind of split the difference a little bit. But I'll just bring that out just a touch. I'm going to live with that. So, go ahead and turn those points off. I'm going to solid extract surface. This layer just so I can see a little better. Yeah, that's gone beyond there, so that's good. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and trim that. Okay, so that just lets us know that we've lost history now, so let's just go ahead and join these back together. So we've finished uh, what would be the, um, may the core, uh, so we could export this uh, as a file for um, you know manufacturing the core for thread cutting this. Uh, but what we need to do now is we need to difference this from a cylinder to make the nut. So I'm going to end this video here and we'll uh, continue with that in the next video. So thanks very much for watching.